Hey guys, this is AK Valia and today we are going to talk about Wi-Fi connection problem in MacBook Air. A lot of times you may have noticed that your Wi-Fi is not connecting or there may be some issues uh, while connecting to a particular network in your Wi-Fi. Uh, so I have done some research and I'm going to present to you a couple of solutions which you can try um, to, to, uh, to make your Wi-Fi work and to connect to the Wi-Fi that you want. Uh, so just diving straight into it uh, the first solution is what you can do is go on to your Wi-Fi icon at the top right hand side of your screen here and uh, switch off the Wi-Fi and uh, switch on the Wi-Fi again after 30 seconds uh, what this does is this usually resets the mechanism and uh, you know connects to the Wi-Fi in case there is some problem if this works uh, well and good if this doesn't work uh, what you can do is go on to the settings tab uh, the system preferences tab uh, in the top of your macbook air click on it and then go on to the network uh, click on network and uh, then go in advanced settings once you click on advanced find the wi-fi uh, that you uh, that you are not able to connect to and once you select that uh, you click on that and then you click on the minus button so what this does is this will remove the Wi-Fi network and any settings associated with it um, so I click on this I remove the Wi-Fi network and I click on OK uh, so after I click on OK I click on apply and this will apply the changes on it and uh, after you have done this you just close this restart your PC and once you restart your PC uh, go on to the Wi-Fi network and you will see the same Wi-Fi appear here and then once you uh, once you see the Wi-Fi click on it put in the password and then click on join and then you should be able to join the network this seems to work for most people in my opinion but if this doesn't also work again go on system preferences uh, again go on to the network make sure your location is automatic and then click on advanced uh, click on DNS uh, sorry click on TCP IP and then click on renew DHCP lease and then click OK and then hit apply so uh, doing this will also renew your lease and then uh, this might help you solve your problem if you found the video useful please like subscribe and share thank you